Well, hey folks, this is Fat Guy Flies RC. I'm out here at the Avon Park Era Modelers Club in beautiful Avon Park, Florida. Look out there. Look at that big old beauty. That's right, that's the Carbon ZT28. That's the second one they released, but it still has the AR36A receiver in it. This was my this is the second one I've owned. The first one I crashed into them power lines over there and I, by the time I added up all the parts, it was cheaper just to buy a new one. This is my T28. I have no intention of buying the big yellow one. Just to me, if, if I didn't have this one, then maybe I would. Let me just go over. I'm running a uh, six or a 5S China Hobby with a 65 discharge in it, uh, 5,000. My rates are 100% throws, over 30% expo, all the way around. Timer is set for six minutes, and we're gonna do takeoff laps right off the bat. Let's do a control surface test. Get behind your aircraft, and I wanna see the ailerons. Right, left, okay. Up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. Flaps up, there's landing flaps. Take off flaps, flaps up. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take off with the, uh, let me make sure my timer beeping's not going on because that will drive me insane. And I'll tell you to drive me insane is a very short trip. Very short indeed. Okay, good, that's. All right. Take off flaps. Flaps up. Gear up. About three quarters throttle right now. Landing flaps. Bring her by nice and slow for you. Show you how nice and slow she'll fly. Flaps up. Time remaining five minutes. Landing flaps. Gear down. Make sure my gear is down before I go to lander. Well, we're gonna come around land from the other direction, I decide. Oh man, I tell you what, this plane is one incredible, incredible machine. All right, we're going to turn around and actually take off into the wind. Wind is kind of out of the west right now, which is great because it's sort of down the runway. All right, get turned around here, and we will take off into the wind. Not going to need to take off flaps. Gear up. Oh, I took 
put the gear up while I was in a turn. I hope that doesn't affect them. Sometimes that affects gear on a T28. Something about the way the wing or something is configured. All right. Into the wind. She should, she she should sit down real pretty. And she does. Take off flaps. Flaps up. All right. Tell you what, it's just an absolute phenomenal airplane. Absolutely phenomenal. off again kind of a bounce up gear up. oh my gear is not all the way up they're slowly working their way up. <laughs> Gear down. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Flaps up. You know, I don't think I'm going to need take off landing flaps. Hard as this wind is right now. Time Yeah, don't even need the uh, takeoff or landing flaps. Going right into the wind. Phenomenal plane, phenomenal plane. And folks, if you're thinking, well, all you ever do is just land and take off, land and take off. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I just it's my favorite thing to do I love landings and because of that I'd like to do a lot of them you know some people it's doing touch and goes it's doing that wind is really affecting her now all right A lot of people like to do, you know, knife edges and what have you and loops and stuff. Me, it's landings. That's what does it for me. Landings. Whoa. What? <laughs> that wind! Of course, I didn't have my flaps down. But let's get turned around here. Let's do a grass ops. We'll do a grass op takeoff and a grass ops landing. It's hard on the gear, but I want to be able to show you that this bird is more than capable of it. All right. Get it turned around here. Turn into the wind here. All right, we're going to use takeoff flaps because I want to get out of that grass quickly.
All right, we're gonna do one flyby. Landing flaps. Nice and slow. Right down the runway. There you go. Yes, I know. Time's Time expired. expired. My fun is over. Let's just land this big, beautiful beast. <laughs> wow. Oh, I was supposed to land the grass. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> I uh, forgot. <laughs> when I ran out of time, I was like, ah, I forgot all about it. But yeah, I'll do it next time. Well, folks, there you go. That is the Carbon Z T28. Obviously not the new big yellow one. And I'll be honest, I don't plan on getting that one. Um, if I lose this one for whatever reason someday, then maybe. But... When you've got a perfectly good working T20, Carbon Z T28, it's kind of hard to justify spending $650 for yet another one. All right, and this is the second time I've owned this one. Because my first one I crashed and I wanted to get a new one. So we're checking the CM. I flew a little over six minutes and i've got 26 percent 3.7 all the way down so perfect storage rate for that battery and uh yeah there you go that is the carbon z t28 one beautiful beautiful phenomenal airplane absolutely legendary the actual trojan itself the plane itself that this represents is a legendary plane naval trainer just an absolute beautiful craft and this model is no exception um, i love flying it she's very easy to fly very easy to land and just a whole lot of fun a lot of fun all right folks well thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. Bye-bye.